Welcome back into the show tonight, Brian Keating, alongside Carson Cunningham. We should crash the boards. Did your board thaw out? My board is Saturday thawed. It, it, it wouldn't have raced. It was frozen it's a cold uh, night. on Saturday night. It was. So much to talk about um, as we get set Ooh. for Bedlam, right? Yeah, it's, it's here. It is here. Not the Bedlam we kind of envisioned, no. but it's still here nonetheless. A little bit different. Um, you know, Oklahoma wins in dramatic fashion, um, made a big play at the end. But that's not really the story because. No. Baker Mayfield's hurt and didn't play in the second half, and I suppose he's questionable moving forward. What? How do you assess the Baker Mayfield situation? It was a scary situation. Yeah. You see him on the sidelines, wincing, kind of squinting. Uh, yep. It's Mayday. Yep. It's Mayday, Mayday, Mayday for the OU offense. We saw how big of a threat and how, how much Baker has done for this offense with him out. I, th I thought it almost enhanced his Heisman credibility because how inept and how listless and how lifeless that offense was. Trevor Knight was not impressive at all. They need Baker Mayfield to play in Bedlam or it's May Day. The other season's at a crossroads. His Heisman campaign is at a crossroads. I'm not sure they can survive in Stillwater if Trevor Knight's playing quarterback. Um, you know, I hate to just sit here and talk about football because we're talking about a kid and his health and a scary injury yeah. and something that um, football has treated a lot more serious. So I don't want to speculate on what might happen. Uh, I know he's going to want to play. I know Bob Stoops is going to want to play him. It's not going to be either one of their choices. So I hope he plays, and I, I hope he's okay. But their season's at a crossroads. You're talking about, can they go into the Final Four? I think the answer is yes if he plays. Um, I think the answer is no if he doesn't. So, so we'll see what happens. They win. They win the Big 12, yeah, 12 title. That's exactly right. Um, it's going to be a long week it, of Baker it, Mayfield it will, talk, yeah, for sure. The other half of that is that Oklahoma State loses for the first time at home against Baylor, 45-35. Baylor was very impressive. And the Cowboys now have to regroup. Baylor's impressive. Yeah. They have yeah. horses yeah, they at every position. Offensive line, defensive line, receiver. They got some stallions. But it's kind of a gross word, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> warts. That's what OSU has. They were undefeated, but they've had a few warts they have on all their, year. All year. They a can't credit run. to Mike Gundy and company. They've done an incredible yeah. job to yeah. be 10 and 0. But they can't run the ball. I think they had eight rushing yards on 23 attempts. That's not going to get it done against the best teams in the Big 12. And with OU coming to town, OU beat Baylor who was so impressive, and Baylor really outmatched, out-talented OSU. So if you're OSU, you got to figure, figure out a way to rush the ball. Yeah, they were just flat-out out-athleted. Baylor had the better athletes, especially up front. OSU couldn't run the ball, and they hadn't been able to run the ball all season. So that's no surprise and nothing different. Baylor was impressive, and those wide receivers are something, and I've said it about every quarterback that Art Browse has ever recruited, going back to Kevin Cobb and Case Keenum and Robert Griffin and Bryce Petty goes on and, and on. Seth Russell Jeez. and Jarrett Stidham and now Chris Johnson. He's the best in the country at recruiting quarterbacks. He's 100%. <laughs> Not all 13 quarterbacks are created equal, and that kid was impressive. And Baylor, Baylor's very good. There's a reason that they were back-to-back -back Big 12 champions. And um, Jarrett Stidham get Wally Pipp there? That, that, that Johnson kid was awesome. That, jo that Johnson kid's Six, pretty five, good. 6'5", 235, can run and throw. He'd play for just about everybody. Baylor quarterback's a good place to be. Yeah, no doubt. Um, <laughs> so now we get to Bedlam. It's and, here. Uh, what did you call it on the pregame? Apocalypse. Apocalypse. The, the Bedlam to end yeah, all Bedlam. And, and, and that's not necessarily what we're going to have. It's big. It's still it, one of the biggest still, ever. It's still one of the biggest ever. Not quite as big. So what are you thinking about Bedlam as, as we move forward? So many question marks on, on every way you look at it. I'm giving thanks, Brian. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm in the right. spirit of giving. It's it's ten and ten and one versus ten and one. Yep. Big 12 title really on the line for both teams. If TCU somehow beats Baylor, or Texas somehow beats or Baylor, or somehow I mean, you're playing for a Big 12 yep, championship. You essentially, you can't can't worry about all the scenarios. But I'm just giving thanks. It's been a tremendous football season. You can't ask for much more than this coming into Bedlam. I, I'm excited, and it's going to be right here on Channel 5, and I can't wait. Yeah. In some ways, though, it, it's deflating. Um, oh, Debbie no, Downer. I mean, it is. I don't, I don't want to be that. But in some ways, it is deflating. This glass it's looks half one. full to me. <laughs> I don't know about you. I don't want to play half empty, but we talked about apocalyptic and playoff, and we're not. Baker Mayfield might not play. And yeah. OSU's, I mean, it's big, and it's bedlam, and it'll be fun. But it's not quite what we were hoping for. But it's not perfect. It's not perfect. But I, I, this glass is half Maybe full Maybe I to just me. wanted more. Maybe Is so. that okay? You got a little greedy. I got a little greedy. And I think it, it set up too perfect. We almost just like, Baylor was a formality for OSU. They were just going to beat them and go on to OU. So it's never that easy. All right. It's been a great year, though. All right. Maybe I'll settle for your word. Can I do Let's that? Let's give thanks. Let's give thanks. Thanksgiving. I, I like that. All right. <laughs> uh, it's Bedlam Week. It's here for Carson and Brian. That's been Crashing the Boards.